My name is Jacob. My name is Courtney. So we got married in October of 2020. And for about eight months, I would say we were trying to have a baby. Uh, just because we've already been together about six years. And it was getting to the point where we weren't waiting necessarily because we were already kind of mature in our relationship. We wanted to get things started. Um, so around that time, it was trying, trying, and trying after again and again. I took like nine or 10 because I was all the time taking tests because I'm so excited. It impacted me because here you are pulling out this test and it's negative. That feeling is like a feeling that you could never like explain. It, it hurts. It immediately puts depression all the way through your body. It was especially hard because women are so excited and it was mostly females who would come up to me and ask, like, oh, are y'all pregnant? It's been a year now. Y'all are married for a year. Where, where, where's the baby? And it was like pressure because also family. Like my grandma literally was like, I'm gonna be dead before you have a kid. And she told me that. Like so many people and, and it impacted me even more because it was family that knew that we were trying. Is it my fault? Like, I was to the point where I was thinking, is it, am I not able to have kids? And yeah. not wanting to speak about it, and that was, that was what's going through my head the entire time. Asking women when they're gonna get pregnant or how they're gonna get pregnant or anything like that is between them and their spouse because it, that is what made my depression so much worse. So you don't know what they're fighting. Because it, it's like y'all don't understand how bad I want a kid and how much we like how long we've been trying and how hard we've been praying and my I'm walking on very thin faith right now with this and then God sent me someone pastor pastor Dan he pulled me out and was like hey I read your Facebook post like a while back and just wanted you to know like the Lord spoke to me in Kentucky and I was in a deer stand and just out of nowhere that post came to my mind and uh, I began to pray for her and Jacob and uh, asking God to give them their child. And uh, it was just like the Holy Spirit spoke to me, you know, that he was gonna give them the desires of their heart. Went looking for her, I saw Jacob in the lobby, and then uh, I remembered she worked with the children. So I go back to the children's room and I asked for her, Lydia, our leader, went in and got her and brought her out. I wanted to let her know that I really felt like God had spoke to my heart to encourage her and let her know that he was gonna give them the desires of their heart and that, that she was gonna conceive and have a child. And that I just wanted to pray for her and I just prayed a simple prayer with her. And I was like, oh my gosh, like just whenever you think, like just when you need that faith, God will send you. Just when you're on, it's, he, he, he sends that person at just the right timing. Thanksgiving happened and I was like, okay, I don't feel good. It was like five or six o'clock in the morning. I didn't feel good. And I was like, man, I gotta take a test. But I was scared to take a test. Yeah, you, you found the test. I found the test, so I didn't know how old it was. Took the test. Immediately, it popped up positive. And I just stand there and my heart starts pounding like, oh no, nah. this was like a jank test. Like, this is not real. I run to him. He thinks someone's breaking in the broke house. I into the house because she was screaming so loud. No stores are open on Thanksgiving, so I couldn't go find another test. I'm like, this, I don't want to get my hopes up. But then Dollar General, praise God for Dollar Generals and those workers on Thanksgiving. I got a few more tests, took them, they immediately came up positive. I just couldn't wait to get back to church to tell Pastor Dan. Because literally that Sunday he told me, he's going to give you the desires of your heart. You're going to conceive. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta tell him, I gotta tell him, I gotta tell him. And I saw her coming and in my heart, I'm, cause you know, when you say something like that, you're going like, God, please let this word cause I'm gonna look like I don't hear from you at all, you know, cause I don't do that that often, you know me. I was gonna bring a test, but I'm like, nah, I peed on that. That probably wouldn't be like COVID <laughs> safe, you know? So I like ran to him. I was like, guess what, guess what? And she said, Thanksgiving day, uh, I took a home test and it was positive. And I think she said they took two more, I think three total, and they were all positive. And she said, I found out that we're expecting our child and God's son, uh, he's honored his work. So walking with faith, not by sight, has been something that TC has really taught me because it's like God pulls through no matter what.